Hey guys, this is Elena with Black Sheep 303 Creative, and today I am taking a look at a fun, crafty, organizational uh, product, which is the Mimo Caddy from Molly Ollie, as you see here. I was given this product by Molly Ollie to take a look at, but I was not paid, and they do not expect me to be nothing but positive. The caddy is a really good size. It's not too big, it's not too small. It is 14 inches long. It's about nine, nine and a quarter inches this way. And then it's seven inches tall to the, you know, for the body of it, not including the handles. I love that because it allows you to put taller items in it and they won't fall over. So that's really nice. And you'll see that in a little bit. It's got, very soft um, material and it is also, I am told by Molly Ali, chemical free. So that's really awesome. The construction of it seems to be great. Like it's super heavy duty. These seams, all of the stitching, it is really, really well made. I have no doubt that this is going to last for years and years and years. It also holds its shape when it's empty, as you can see, which is really nice. And it has a whole bunch of pockets in addition to these removable inserts that are Velcroed in. It has cool pockets on the front and the back for smaller items. It's got a large pocket on one side of the shorter side, and then it has this really cool zipper pocket On this end, that has these nice elastic um, so pieces sewn into it that do a great job of holding smaller items, particularly markers is how I'm going to use them quite a bit. And then there's another nice uh, pocket here that has a Velcro closure. And then it has these nice gusseted wings on it that will give it a little extra space. So you can store quite a bit in there. So really, really nice. So, as a crafty organizer, how could you use this, particularly with your Cricut Silhouette or Scan and Cut materials? Well, I have a few different ideas, so let's take a look. I don't know what you guys, but I kind of have a problem with a lot of random items in my craft room for my various electronic cutting machines. Now, I have three different brands. You might have three different machines from one brand. You could have a couple different machines from one brand or a couple from different brands, who knows? But all of those machines uh, have different blades, different accessories, different tools that kind of wind up, at least for me, in sort of a hodgepodge. So right now I have a lot of my random supplies stuck in this little sort of desk organizer thing. And, you know, and I've used plastic bags to keep them separated, and that, that helps, but it doesn't do the best job. <laughs> so I was thinking, what if I could fit all of this stuff into this one tote, and then on top of that, get a bunch of my Cricut supplies, specifically for like my Maker or Explorer air machine, into this as well. So I want to see how I can do that. So let's try loading all this stuff into this. All right, I'm gonna take my random, my extra blades for my silhouette, my engraver tool for my silhouette, adapters for my silhouette. This is my pen holder for my scan and cut my extra blades and my engraving tip for the scan and cut. And then I have some like engraving blanks that are sort of small and they don't really fit well in any drawer that I've got. So I'm gonna throw those in here too, along with these other ones. I have an extra blade for my Cricut Maker that I don't have a good place for and I always feel like I'm going to lose it. So I'm going to actually throw that in the back pocket here. Now, I don't know about you, but I have a ton of these like sample rings of vinyl 
and they're not the easiest for me to store so I'm thinking this could be a good place for these as well. I also have some uh, high-tech adhesive support sheets for my scan and cut that need to go somewhere and those will fit nicely there. Got my power supply for my foil quill, so I'm just going to tuck that next to the foil quill down here. Some more uh, acrylic ornaments I can engrave. I'll put those in here with the other en engraving blanks. And now I have a bunch of tools in addition to my tech craft ones that I think I'm going to fit into these pockets. All fit really nicely in there. And then in my my end pocket with the nice elastic, I'm going to put my my black Cricut maker pen that has nowhere to live. And then I'm going to put these little silhouette sketch pens. And I've got more space. Like I could I could easily fit a few more things in here. I could fit a few more things in this pocket. Same with this pocket. Like I've got some extra space here and definitely here I could put more in this in this pocket in the pens as well as in this this pocket too. And so these are all my random blades, tools, markers for my Cricut, some other things for my silhouette and my brother's scan and cut that all fit really nicely into this one very portable, very cute tote. And I love that the tall fabric support sheets stay standing really nicely because the tote itself is seven inches high. Let's try something else. All right, so one thing I discovered kind of by accident is that my Cricut Joy fits in this. So that's pretty awesome because I have my Cricut Joy sitting on my shelves. Like I have those sort of open box shelves and then I have all my accessories for it in my Alex drawers from Ikea and they take up quite a bit of space. So I was thinking, what if I could store all of my Cricut Joy stuff in this one tote? Wouldn't that be awesome? So let's try it. Okay, so the Joy fits in here. My long mats, unfortunately, will not fit in here. So we'll have to stand those up on the end. But my adhesive paper does fit and the shorter mats fit too. So that's really nice. And then I have, my, I have a replacement blade. I think I'll put the replacement blade down in the end. And then I have a couple of adapters for pens and then another foil transfer tool that I got off of Etsy. I'm gonna stick those down in the end here too. Cords can fit right in here. And now I have a bunch of other sort of individual or three packs of markers that I'm gonna stick down in this side in this cool pocket. And I've got quite a bit more space down here. Like I could fit at least two more three packs of pens and more in the pocket. So I might put my infusible ink joy pens in here as well. But for now, I'm gonna leave it there. And I love that it just zips up so nicely. Again, I think I'm gonna put some of my most handy tools in here, like my scissors. And then my mats can all fit so on one end and there I go I've got all of my Cricut Joy items into this uh, one caddy including the machine and I've got a lot of extra space like you can see I could put a lot more stuff down in here and I could even lift the Cricut Joy up a little bit I could put things under it got a lot of more space in the in the marker pocket 
and I have the entire other side to put more tools in or other things if I wanted to. And then if I wanted to take my joy somewhere, I was going over to a friend's house to do some crafty project, this is a really nice way to carry this and take it with me without too much effort. So how cute is that? Another way you could possibly use this is with your infusible ink or sublimation supplies. As you can see, I have a bit of an issue with <laughs> infusible ink transfer sheets. So I have fit 12 boxes of these transfer sheets into uh, the tote. And as you can see, they are not falling out. They're not falling over. They stand up really nicely. Then on the other side, I have a couple of blanks. So I have my uh, Cricut cosmetic bags. I have a mouse pad. I've got a mug in this box and these are some coasters. And then I have all my markers. So I've got the Infusible Ink 30 set and then a couple of extra packs all fit in here really nicely. And then I also have some We Are Memory Keepers transfer quills that are like the markers, but they're just We Are Memory Keepers brand along with the adapters for the various machines for those markers. In my back pocket, I have stuck my heat transfer tape. So that comes in really handy. And then over here, I have my Cricut Joy infusible ink markers. And then I even have a set that isn't open yet that I just stuck into the, the bigger pocket. So if you wanted to keep all of your infusible inks or sublimation supplies, even sublimation printer cartridges, I think could fit in here. The inks, um, bottles, you know, those kinds of things. Possibly even paper um, could fit like the long way for sure. You could fit this all into this cute little tote. So kind of a fun idea there as well. Okay guys, I hope I've given you some really good inspiration for ways you could use this Molly Ollie Mimo Caddy Tote craft organizer in your craft space for your Cricut and other electronic cutting machine supplies. I think it's really, really cute. <laughs> As I mentioned, it's really well made and you can fit a huge variety of items in this. And even if you're not an electronic cutting machine owner or and you're not using vinyl or infusible ink or those kinds of things, this would also hold any number of other items like paints, inks, stamps, fabric, you name it. And so you could use this as a like a little portable craft station. So if you don't have a dedicated craft space and you need to move things around regularly, you could put the, the items that you use frequently into this and then just have it all together so you can take it with you wherever you need to, you know, out to the dining room table or into the living room. So I hope you're gonna check this out. Now I have a 10% off coupon or link linked in the video description. Also wanna give a big shout out to Molly Ollie for providing me with the adorable Mimo Caddy. I love it. I think I'm gonna use it for my Cricut Joy, but I might also use it for those tools. So hard to say, we'll see in the future, but I, I'm definitely using this thing. If I helped you today and gave you any little, any organizational inspiration, I would really appreciate it if you could give my video a thumbs up and leave me a comment. That helps out my channel quite a bit with the YouTube algorithm, always, always really helpful and I'm extremely grateful when people do that. And if you're interested in more tutorials on electronic cutting machines like Cricut's Silhouette and Brother Scan and Cut, you might consider subscribing to my channel as well. Thank you so much. Have an amazing day.